Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we'll learn how to use templates in Azure DevOps YAML pipelines in order to reuse and share the CI CD templates. To understand why this tool is really useful, let's see the use cases where we want to deploy the application multiple times or we want to deploy into multiple environments like dev, test, and prod. In those cases, we'll see that in our CI CD pipelines, we'll see some blocks of the code that are repeated again and again. So the idea here would be to refactor those blocks of the code that are repetitive and to put them inside a file that we call it a template. Then from our main CI CD pipeline, we can call that template when we want to repeat it. So to understand how that works, Show me here to show you a demo on Azure DevOps. So here I have the demo and all the scripts for, uh, for this uh, lab available in this GitHub repository. So you can go to check it out. And here I have actually two demos. We'll start first by seeing a sample pipeline. That's what I have here in this sample uh, folder. So if I switch to my VS code, in this folder I have two pipelines. So first is the main pipeline that will be triggered once when we push on the master branch and then contains some steps. And here for these steps, note how we are using those templates. The sample template dot, um, step dot yaml is actually the second file that I have here. And this one, which is my template, this contains a list of steps. For here, I have only one step that will just uh, echo a hello from yaml templates and Azure DevOps pipelines. And I'm repeating the same template three times here. It means in my pipeline, I'll go to show that message three times. So let's see how we can create the pipeline that uses templates first. So here I'm inside Azure DevOps. I have created a new project and here I have gone to the uh, pipelines. Then the pipelines here, I have already two pipelines created before, but I'll go show you how you can create a new pipeline to use the YAML configurations. So here I'll choose where from which I from where I can get my YAML configuration files and here it's in my GitHub account. So I select GitHub with YAML and then for the select here, I go to select the repository that I'm using today for the demo. After that, I can either choose one of these existing YAML uh, pipelines or templates, or what I can also do is that I can use an existing uh, pipeline that is available on my GitHub repository. So because I have created that before. So here on from my master branch, I go to select the sample Azure pipelines. So I select this one, continue, and then Azure DevOps will get that file, will read it and it will show it to me right here. So from here, I can see my three steps described it in another YAML pipeline. So here I put actually the path to my YAML pipeline. And here, because I'm inside the sample uh, pipeline, inside the folder sample pipeline, so I don't need to add a sample pipeline into its path because already the main pipeline is inside that folder. So from here, if I go to run this pipeline right here, in a second, that will be queued. And if I click on it, I see that here it's triggered and it will show it or it will run the step, describe it inside the template three times. And here we can see the message hello from YAML templates. Great. So this was a sample uh, pipeline, but in some other cases, we want to pass some parameters into that uh, template because maybe you want to change the application name or the database login and password and some other parameters. So how can we take those use cases? So in here, I'll show you my second uh, demo, which will show you how we can pass parameters into pipelines. So in this, um, in this file here in this uh, pipeline, which is by the way, also available on the uh, GitHub repository. So that's the file that is in here with the three uh, templates. In this pipeline, I have a list of variables and those variables will be needed by the different templates. So here I'm using the first template for 
creating the Terraform backend. So in this case, I'm simulating that I want to deploy my infrastructure using Terraform. So first thing to do is to create the Terraform uh, st storage account for Terraform in order to store the uh, ter Terraform state. So for that, I'm using a dedicated template for that so that I can reuse that template in from different uh, uh, from multiple projects even if those uh, projects um, uh, even my template lives in another um, git repository I can actually reference it from other repositories so that's a nice way to share those templates so in this first template I'll go to pass some parameters so I'll go to uh, uh, take the values from the variable section here and into that template which I can show you right here, create Terraform backend. I take those uh, parameters from here. So those will be um, overrided by this list of parameters. Then I'll go to take those parameters and use them inside my uh, uh, template. Note here, I'm creating a list of stages with jobs and steps um, and I'm use, reusing those passed uh, parameters in order to create the storage account and the TF state file. So the template here, what it's doing is that it, we, it is inserting the content of that file into this pipeline. And then in here, I am using a second template, which will run the different uh, or which will be used in order to run into one single environment. Because here, in this case, I want actually to deploy into my dev test and the prod environment and for each environment, I want to pass some different parameters. So for my dev environment, I want to pass the name dev for this uh, environment, along with those different uh, uh, values, and I'm using the template Terraform stages. Let's see the code for that template. So here, what I'm doing is that I'm trying to deploy the Terraform infrastructure. So first of all, I'm uh, installing Terraform as first task, then I'm running the different Terraform commands, Terraform init, um, plan and apply. And here I'm taking also those, uh, config those uh, variables in order to use them inside this pipeline. So in here I'm using that same template three times in order to deploy to my dev test and production environment along with different uh, variable uh, 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 values right here. So that makes it really easy to share and reuse the different templates. If I don't use the templates here, it means that I will write the, same, the code for that template three times. So that this main template would have uh, hundreds of lines of code. And if I want to make change into the template, then that change will be reflected in all my environments immediately. So this template will deploy Terraform template, which is available in the uh, code repository here. So that have the main.tf, which will just go to deploy a resource group with the name passed into it. And then the template will run the different uh, Terraform commands in order to deploy it. Let's see here a sample for running those, um, those pipelines. So from here you can see first I start running the first template which will create the Terraform backend, then the one that will deploy into dev, test, and then deploy into production. And you see that here some of those stages will run in parallel. That's because in our pipeline we have created or we have used dependencies in order to say that the production environment, for example, will depend on the uh, dev and test environment. It will run only after they finish uh, uh, running. So I'm using the uh, depends on here, which will be passed into the uh, create Terraform backend template. So it will get this value for depends on, and then it will use it in my uh, different stages. So that in Azure, on my Azure subscription, that will create three uh, state files into my storage account, one for dev, uh, prod and test, and that will deploy also the three resource groups, which are dev, prod, and uh, test. So templates are a great way to share and reuse 
code across different projects and to be used across multiple uh, teams in our organization. So what I see organizations or enterprises doing is that they create like a base Git repository in which they put their templates and those templates will be reused by the different um, uh, product teams in order to agree on using some standards on those, uh, on those templates. So to learn more about templates and about some of the other features available with templates and how you can apply it into your Azure DevOps, I'll leave you here with this link right here that have more details and uh, 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 more features available um, from here. And I would also invite you to check um, more of my videos on YouTube where I post about anything DevOps, Kubernetes, and Microsoft Azure. I hope you have liked this video. Thank you.